Do it. Go. Hey, it's the Scotch Test Dummies. We just spilt a little thing of water. Mm -hmm. And what are we getting ready to try? Garrison Brothers, Texas Straight Bourbon Whiskey. And we're going to test it! My dog's hurting upstairs. No chupacabra style. Texas bourbon style. Mm -hmm. All right, we're in. So first thing we had first, a spill. we had a spill of the water. Only the water, not the whiskey. And second of all, the chupacabra's down. Hopefully, she's not down for the count. Hopefully, she'll be okay. So we've got her on some meds, but girl. yeah, her hindquarters aren't working, and she got they determined a bacterial infection in her and spine. It, yeah, well, it's not in the spine itself. It's in the a uh, couple of vertebrae or something. Well, the uh, the little pad. What do they call it? The disc between the vertebrae, oh. but it's in four of them. Ooh. So you can clear it. <laughs> so that was sad. All right. On more positive note, German Shepherd aside, what do we got? Okay. Garrison Brothers Texas Straight Bourbon Whiskey. This is a uh, store pick for Total Wine and More. 68.05%. But what I, It took me a second to remember it was a store pick because on the side they have bottle number 11 of 28. Right. And I was yeah, like, you were thinking, what kind of sorcery is that? Whoa. Yeah. Yeah, and I remember store pick, so apparently the store only, they probably divided the barrel up. Several stores probably got First of all, parts of it. Um, Age aged three years. I like how the Silver Star of Dallas, or not of Dallas, sorry, Texas? I was thinking Dallas, but Texas. Texas, and this thick silver wax, a la Maker's Mark style. Oh, you can't say that. Oh, I can say whatever. No, probably. I even bought it. Garrison, Garrison Brothers probably agreed... <laughs> But they can do it as long as no one talks about it. Well, it looks it's not like MM. It's not red. Yeah. So you can use it as long as nobody talks about now, it. Now this the nose is topped. As this, soon as you untopped, it came my way. This is strong. Yeah. But I red, love it's a nice wax. color. And it's even got a star. In case you miss a star in the front, there's an extra star up here. Just in case. Yeah. The next bothered me a little bit, so I might have to stretch it a little bit. Look at the color. It's almost got like a burgundy, brandy kind of darkness to it. Darkness. Rich cinnamons and caramels. Ooh, gosh, this just jumps oh, out of the glass. Oh, 840? Oh, uh, 839. If you want one of these, he's got the dummy stamp on it. Go to scotchtestdummies.com, go to the merch side, and you can get these. Hmm. So they work as a good little topper. Throw it in your pocket. You look cool when you're at the bar, and you throw it out and put it on your glass. Okay. Just good. Oh, ting. Just good cinnamon. What? Knock the water over? Yeah, Knock you got the dropsies. Where'd it go? Over there by your foot. Oh, <laughs> hold on. Hold on. Dropsies. It didn't sound like it no, chipped. It'll, it'll go ting. Yep. You know it's chipped. One. Although, Someone, so who's getting the one drop on the floor? What is it again? 840. 840. You get 840. You know you got the dropped one. All right. All right. Just good rich cinnamons, caramels. Maybe a little pecan, maybe? Do you get some pecan pie? Wow. I wouldn't say pecan pie, but maybe a little bit of pecan. And it's the cinnamon is so strong here, mm -hmm. and the ABV is so high, you really got to watch the sniff on this because right, it'll get you. You dive in. in. You dive little, in. I'm take a little sip. Do it. Yeah. yeah. 68.05. This is one you want to get a little saliva in your mouth, too. That's Elijah Craig barrel proof style right there. It's got a little something going. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm -hmm. Oh, I was going to take a sip. Mm -hmm. I got a little bit on my tongue, and then I stopped. Not a way to go. Ooh, not a bad way to go. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. The Texas style comes through. Not overpowering. Definitely feels older than three years. Okay. Mmm. I get a little bit of almost like a coconut. Okay, I can see that. On it. In, in, um, uh, and I like that. And I don't like coconut in real life. I love it in bourbon. Take the, the chefs, you know, when they're like doing stuff and they have the torch and the coconut shreds up there. Maybe they just even toast it, toasted coconut a little bit. It's way in the finish because up front it's dusty corn and mm. cinnamon. Mm. The coconut for me doesn't show up until late in the finish. Mmm. Mmm. I want a bottle of this. I thought you would. <laughs> it was rather expensive. Mm. We'll talk about later. Mmm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Wow. I know who you can talk to, though, if it's still there. Oh. 
Whiskey gone. Mmm. I didn't want to. I was going to move that out of the way, so I didn't dump it. Uh, he's but, going for my glass. Well, I was, like, What's I he was doing? going to move it, and then I thought, hold on. I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I thought, you dumped the water. I dumped the whiskey. That's bad. That's bad. So I was going to move it out of the way. So Man, that it. is. Yeah. yeah this, this was still. worth it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this was worth it. The, the melted brown sugars. Yeah. Coated everything. It's still, it's the gift that keeps on giving, Clark. Yep. Now, when we were down with the tribe last year in Austin, didn't we talk to these folks? No. Um, I thought I talked to them at their table, but I was hitting everybody up that was there. Was Garrison there? I thought they were supposed to come, but they didn't. I, I don't thought, know. That's what I couldn't remember. I don't remember now. I know. See, and I was trying to look back on the business cards I grabbed from that one. I couldn't find them. Of course, out of that deal, we meet Iron Root Republic. Yeah. And, and, you know. You know, Yellow Rose was there. Um, Andalusia was there. Um, if they Daniel could've, they could've sees this, throw it in there, Daniel, you know, if you want. Garrison could have been. I know I'm Balcones, sure they were invited. Balcones didn't go. I think Garrison was supposed to be there, but then they, okay, they couldn't show they up for some reason. I think they had a table set up and everything for them. And See, that's what I couldn't remember. There was the blank table. There was mm -hmm. one of the tables there with a sign on it, blank. Mm -hmm. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, I know, and I couldn't remember. And your memory's better than mine, mm. by far. Got a little bit of that that chocolate orange. Yes, you know, the, the, the chocolate. I, would, yep. Yep. I agree with that 100%. It's got a lot of interesting flavor notes. Mm -hmm. And I brought her down an ABV because it's a powerful one. I added it a good. Powerful. I added a good drop of water. I'm going to add another mm -hmm. good healthy drop of water. And that was even. Yeah, when I opened this I and sampled it, I thought Scott's going to like it. Is this from the Chicago trip? No, this is well. Oh, this right, is donger. the Denver trip. Yeah, this is the Denver trip. We're whiskey donger. It's not donger though, is it? It's just donger. Whiskey dong. <laughs> donger is from uh, right. Sixteen Candles. Yes. So, <laughs> Donger needs food. Yeah. <laughs> Where's my car? Hmm? Automobile? <laughs> I don't know how you do that. I couldn't do that. <laughs> it's in a lake. Right. Big lake. Mm. So, uh, oh, I right. It was after um, uh, we hung out at uh, Stranahan's and then uh, hung out a little bit the next day. And then um, he uh, got a hold of me and said, hey, um, I got a chance to pick one of these up. Do you want one for yourself? I said, yeah, yes, I do. And uh, I got a little bit of charcoal, a little bit of char, barrel char, not charcoal filtering. A little bit of uh, the burnt toasted oak. Yeah, there's cinnamons, there's caramels, there's sugars, there's orange zest, there's chocolate, there's... Not really getting any uh, pecan pie. Must have just crossed my mind. Well, I think on reason, the but, nose though, it has yeah. like a little nutty kind but of. I haven't got any on the palate. No. Like I said, the the you. I mean, you got to watch that overpowering open. That cinnamon open really mm. jumps at you. I'm gonna bring it down even some more. So. Hmm. And I'm not getting as much of the coconut after I put the water in last time. We. <laughs> Woo. So we got the bottle now, of Wow, but this is the woo. bottle of Woo Wee. Woo Wee. Got this backwards. Hold on. Or it could be the bottle of Ah. <laughs> um, that is good. That would uh, that would hold up very well against Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. If you're an Elijah Craig Barrel Proof fan, this is in your wheelhouse. Double the price. Hmm? That's what I figure. It's probably yeah. at least a hundred or in that range. Yeah. Um, now I wonder. Five-ish. I mean, you're paying for that that 68%. Oh, and it, it is single barrel as well. Mm -hmm. uh, Master Distiller Donna's Todd single barrel hand selected for total wine and more. 68.05% alcohol. It's phenomenal. Um, corn harvested 2011. Panhandle White is the, is the corn variety. They got the barrel number on here, 4467, aged three years in oak, and bottle number 11 of 28. The three years is what's impressive again. And this is where Texas has a big leg up. It gets so hot, 
that three years is is masterful. I mean, wouldn't you say? I mean, if if you told me blind if, or given this to me blind, I would never say three years. Mm -hmm. No, it feels much older than that. Totally. Uh, you know, the thing is though, too, that Texas profile. Sometimes you know you get that heavy sage. Right. It's not there. Yes. Yeah. That I agree with you a hundred percent. It's maybe a slight hint of it at first with uh, water first, it's almost like, gone away yes there was like something but i it's not like like for a while there we were calling it the texas heat like mm -hmm. you could taste the texas heat or the sage but i'm with you it that's what i actually was a little concerned mm -hmm. about i thought well you know, but it's not it's not it may be oh. a hint nothing overpowered i Burn forgot it? no i forgot oh. my ipad everybody's mm. gonna be yelling mm. Put it in the comments. <laughs> you should have had the iPad. And I don't have. Maybe I can draw on here. Well, I know <laughs> I can. Ah, you can. Um, but I don't have that same app. Hmm. You can draw on there, though, right? Can you minimize that? Look at that. This entertaining TV right here. <laughs> I was down in New Orleans. There. I saw the Sazerac house. It was literally right next door as they were building it to my hotel, the Sheridan. They had whiskey bottles on shelves, but it was still in construction. I got a hold of their media person. I don't think she knew who the dummies were. I'm like, hey, I'd love to pop in there, take a couple photos with you. You do your little press thing. I'll put a little something out through our side of it. And she said, well, we don't open till October 2nd. I'm like, I know, but I'm here right now. And this is their media person. Yeah, their media person. She's like, well, we don't open until October 2nd. Please come back then. <laughs> I just told you I'm in town for a conference. I'm going to be gone. <laughs> so I almost, they had a lot, uh, like, a, like a rope or, or like police tape. And I almost went through it because they had VIPs in there one day. And I thought, nah, I don't want to get in trouble and cause a stir. So nothing from Zazerac House. 94. Mm. I know you wrote 94 I'm going to stick with what I was going to say 92 it's really really good um, oh I was and when you said 94 it made me think should I be in a 93 realm I'm going to stick with the 92 it's top notch yes is it going to be hard to get yeah by the list well, here I wonder. Number, so four, do four, they? Six, seven. So this is a single barrel, though. But do they do this? The Garrison Brothers Texas Straight Bourbon Whiskey at cask strength. That would be close to sixty-eight percent. If you see it, get it. Let us know what you think. You said double the price. So what was it? One hundred or one twenty? Somewhere one forty. One forty. One forty. Well, I tell you six, what. I think. If I, I would not be disappointed. I wasn't. I wasn't. In that. Uh, first of all, they had me really with the wax dipping. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to let you know the wax was thick. I thought, it's not I similar this. It's to not any other close to anybody else. else's wax it's dipping. It's totally different color. But the way they hit this, I thought, well, that's kind of cool. And I was, I was a fan of the wax right off the bat. Um, and then I thought, well, let's see what the juice is. And the juice, as you just uh, found out, uh, did not disappoint at all. Let's do our traveling dummy. Mm. Oh, 94. I think it's worth it. I don't think anybody would be disappointed. You said 92. Our traveling dummy, Mark Saliba. Uh, hi, Scott. And sent an email. Hi, yeah. Scott. And Bar just got home from Vegas celebrating my brother's bachelor party. Oh, wow. What the hell that went? I brought my STD Ooh. Oh. coin. Whoa. Weird <laughs> pause. What's with the big pause? <laughs> oh, geez. I was born with them. Uh, took a couple of picks. One is at the Las Vegas Distillery, and the cool. other is on the flight to get there. Not sure how it works to get these on the to get shown. Yeah, he figured it is. out. He figured it out. So here's a picture at the Las Vegas Distillery. Wow. A bottle of the Seven Grain Local Recipe Collection, Las right. Vegas Lucky Seven Whiskey. All right. It's all coin there. number eight sixteen, and that's a Cask Five coin. And then on the oh, plane with his little bottle of Woodford that. Reserve. Look at that. And he flew Delta. Yep. Non they apparently have great, oh, great coffee. coffee non-stop. <laughs> oh, and there's, an, no, empty there's an empty bottle in, in there. there. Yeah, he killed it. Killed like our uh, our flight overseas. Sure. We went through a couple we of those, did. few of those little yeah. miniatures. I'm sure there were some neighbors thinking they're drinking a lot. <laughs> those Americans are going to get into some trouble. <laughs> I thought it helped me sleep. Did I sleep? 
No. No. What did I think I was going to get? Thought I might get you a mean, good solid like six, six to seven hours. hours, baby. I'm just going to sleep through the flight like a child on a road trip. That's right. Nope. nope. Turned out I was in a sardine can. <laughs> Ain't no sleep going on there. Mm. Uh, we have one Patreon shout out to do. Oh, real quick, by the way, the way you get those photos in, like he intoned there, he wasn't sure, you can send them to uh, Scotch Test Dummies uh, at gmail.com. Yes. Uh, that's probably one of the best ways right there. Um, and uh, we don't guarantee it'll get on, but we've had cool ones from all over the world and now mm -hmm. on an airplane. Yep. Snakes on a plane. What do we got? Uh, Patreon shout out to do for Mike. Lysick. I think it's Lysick. 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 I would say Lysick. I'm going to go with Lysick. We met Mike in uh, Kansas City last year when we was up there for oh, the yeah. uh, That's right. uh, uh, Lafroy Kilt, Kilt Crawl. Yeah. Kilt Crawl. Yep. Mike Lysick. Great Thank you. Kilt, brother. Thanks, Mike. Appreciate it. So, And if you want to be a Big. Patreon supporter, go to patreon.com. Just look up Scotch Test Dummies. You can go on and do as little as a dollar a month if you want, or if you really like it, you can do a thousand a month. <laughs> Please do that. Big that shout out to all happy. of our Patreon supporters. Yeah, I know, I know. Yeah, you guys are great. Um, so. That's it. Cool. Scotch it, you Scotch gods. Slauncha. Dummies. Hey, it's the Scotch Test Dummies. Hello.